What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we're doing something that might not actually be on every single person's bucket list, but 80% of the world already does it. This so far has been the most challenging one for me to film. Today we're chewing on crickets. So the big sell behind cricket protein, cricket flour, I'm sure you guys have seen this, is that not only does the majority of the world's population actually eat cricket already, and I said world's population, not the United States of America, but it's the fact that you get the maximum nutrition, so protein in this case, with the minimal resources. The cricket protein and cricket bars that I got were actually from Exo Protein, and they actually have all this stuff laid out on their website. I'll go ahead and post that in the description below. I've got a lot of crazy stuff on my bucket list, and I have to say that eating and food is no exception there. Anytime I travel outside the United States, I try food that isn't necessarily well known in the United States, or isn't even something that you can eat in the US. I'll give you an example, I tried guinea pig in South America. It was kind of hard to eat it, not because of the taste, but because of the fact that I, I owned a guinea pig when I was a kid and all I could think of was Henry. <laughs> I primarily ordered this because I was impressed with the bars at first. They tasted pretty good. And so I wanted to see what all the fuss was about for the sustainable protein of a cricket. So shipping was relatively normal here and it came in a normal box and of course, just in case you weren't aware that you were ordering crickets, you now have it on the box. So, go ahead and rip this guy open really quickly and see what it actually looks like. Kind of concerned, slightly worried. Paper, and so that you guys didn't know, I actually got a whole bunch of, I got like a sample pack because I don't know how often we got sea salt and vinegar. We've got sriracha. Okay. We've got a little bit of Texas barbecue. Not going to be my favorite. We've got crispy taco. Love a good Mexican food. And of course we've got, which one is the sour cream? Cool. So while I am eating the crickets for the first time, I actually was turned on to this a little while ago and I have tried Exo's protein bars, the cricket protein bars, and I have to say before even trying the crickets, these are actually really good. I was very impressed and shocked with the fact that I couldn't taste cricket and tasted like a normal protein bar. Also want to give a quick shout out to Exo for hooking me up with some protein bites as well. I'll let you know how those go. Well, let's get this started. I already tried opening up one of the bags. It was the one I probably won't eat. You already saw the flavors there, Texas barbecue. I'm not gonna have Texas barbecue. I did open them up and check it out and wanted to at least see what they look like before I started throwing them in my mouth. And so what I'm gonna be trying today is actually the whole roasted sriracha crickets. So everyone with celiac or is gluten intolerant, they are gluten free, so that's a plus here. They're actually pretty healthy for you relative to a lot of the other shit that we eat all day long. It's about 70 calories in this bag and six grams of protein. So I'd say that's pretty solid. I can actually pronounce all the ingredients in here and the first ingredient is actually crickets. Acheta domesticus. I think that means domestic cricket. I don't know how you can actually domesticate a cricket, but They've done it. Also, an allergy warning, which I'm learning something here, cricket products may trigger crustacean shellfish allergies. I can't even say that. Crustacean shellfish allergies. Here we go. The bag is slightly challenging to open. XO, please make this easier to open. Ugh. Well, the good news, they smell like sriracha and they definitely fucking look like crickets. I'll be honest, my, my heart is actually kind of beating a little faster. So I'm just gonna take, oh, they look like crickets. They've essentially taken the legs off of this thing. It looks just like a cricket though. I don't even know if I can do this. And here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Well, the good news is they taste kind of like chips. If you get over the fact that they look just like crickets, they don't taste bad. Ooh, there's the sriracha too. They kind of taste like, what do they taste like? Um, 
that kind of tastes like like chips, like a, a unique kind of chip, like a very, very earthy chip, which makes sense because they're a bug. There's not any pieces getting caught in my teeth. There's not any pieces getting caught in my throat. I don't feel like I'm eating a bug, so that's good news. Oh, missed. Shit, the thing just walked away. So overall, they're not bad. I think once you get over the fact that you're looking at crickets, there is no, there's no lying or tricking yourself that it's not a cricket that you're about to eat. It definitely looks just like a cricket. But the overall taste is, is not bad. It's literally like anything else that you would try. Is this something that's gonna be widespread? Is this something that everyone in the US is gonna pick up? Who knows? What I'm saying is the, the taste is well done. It actually does taste like sriracha as well. If you're feeling adventurous and wanna give something a shot, Go ahead and check out XO Protein. Check out the crickets. I would probably start with the protein bars if you want to kind of dip your toes in the water first. So I got to tell you the cost of everything. If you're going to try this out, give you an idea. The protein bars, I got a three pack just to try them out. And it actually ended up being with shipping $11.95. Wasn't bad at all. When I got the bars, I actually ate all three of them because that's what I do with all my food. The, the bag of crickets, which I got a five pack. It was kind of like a trial pack almost. It was $18.95 with shipping. So you can see where the expense there is slightly more aggressive for a bag of crickets versus a bag of 99 cents lays. That's all I got for you guys today. If you liked the video, go ahead and press like. If you want to see more bucket list content, go ahead and press subscribe. And I promise it's not always going to be about bugs. I want to give a special thanks to EXO for giving me the extra paleo protein bites and really make a difference in what we got going on in the world instead of just bitching and moaning and posting to Facebook. But who does that? I'm going to get going and most likely go brush my teeth. See you later.